Hey everyone, welcome back. So on my Patreon page for the I Want to Learn group, we are working on this grayscale parrot, just like our color along parrot, but with a little more realism. So we're going to have to learn how to do feathers. So let me give you a sneak peek on what we're doing over there and how we're attempting to color in all these different types of feathers. We're gonna go in and do around the face here. One nice thing about grayscale is it will show you where to put your darker colors or your shadows. Now we're gonna go in with the black and put in our black areas and there's some browns in there. So I'm gonna go in between the black and the espresso. So let's go in with the black, these areas here. Once again, you wanna use linear strokes up and down like a feather. You wanna go in the direction of the feather. Don't if you miss a line, no big deal. Here I went over a little bit. Always make sure you use the sharpest part of your pencil just so just keep rotating. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of brown, a little up here, and some gray, some gray with the black here, kind of where these little shorter lines are. Then come in with your white, up and down strokes, and kind of blending this together. It's a little, kind of go in the direction of the feathers. And then we're gonna go in with some more black and kind of define these again. Some black in there. A little bit of gray, blend that out. And just follow the, the pattern of the gray scale. Tell you which way to, to go. Okay, now for the head feathers. We're just gonna start putting colors in and I'm gonna do my usual where I put the lightest color down first. Follow these lines up. I'm gonna do probably here in the yellow for now. And then the green. I'm gonna take my lightest green. And this one looks like it's broke already, but I think this grass green is gonna be my lightest. One here with some of the green. And that comes all the way down around here. Follow the the lines on the gray scale. And I want to put some more yellow up here. Green's going to stop here. Then we're going to go back in with the yellow. And the yellow is going to come down this way. Right now I'm just blocking in where I want these colors to go. Blue, I'm going to take my lightest blue, which is the sky blue. And that's going to start coming in right about here. This is going to be definitely blue back in here. Right down to here. Let's add some more of this green in here. We're going to keep this kind of close at hand. You might not be able to see all of it. Come back in here with yellow and pull that up. So if you go outside of the lines, no big deal. I'm going back in with this honey color. Orangey, yellow. You know what? I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to have to flip you on your head. It's going to be easier for me to get at these upside down than right side up. So hold on. Yellow back in. Add some more of this orange. And then the brown. Now we're going sideways and we're into the greens. So this is my lighter green. I'm just gonna go back in here, fill this in a little bit more, following the lines. Now in with the darker green. And you do want these to kind of overlap a little bit. Let's see how the brown's gonna do. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna be using it pretty much where these darker areas are. On these darker lines. Okay, let's bring in the white and just start blending those together. And we're going to start with this lightest blue. Next, we're going to take sea blue, the next lightest blue, and just take some white strokes. Kind 
kind of have to do these kind of combined. So I'll focus more on these wispy feathers. Next, let's see what this royal blue does. And we have the sapphire blue. In this little area, more orange, and then move to the yellow. I'm just gonna start filling this in with my linear strokes. Okay, now I'm going in with the Tuscan Sun to kind of bring in the orange, and I'm following these lines. Take a little bit of this yellow, yellow. Not too much though, because it's bright yellow. I wanted to. I'm just lightly layering the colors in. I'm not real sure on how I want this all to blend together. Let's use some of this darker orange up in here. And with some of this bright yellow and see how it blends with too bad. Let's try the light orange and then we'll blend it with the white and see how that looks. It's getting there. Before I go any further with the yellow, orange color, I want to work on this blue. So it looks like we got a good base of that, and now we just got to do the definition. We need the black and the sapphire. So I'm going to go in here, start defining these feathers. do some more of the lighter blue sky blue because I want these a little lighter than yeah sky blue is the lighter one fill in some of these areas here okay, I think I'm gonna go in with the brown closest to the these feathers and kind of define those some shading in there I'm going to take your time with this. Don't rush it. And I think I want to do one more blend with the white and see how that turns out. Just going to go up. Kind of. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Now we're going to go in with black and kind of just go along here. this up here just slightly try to find some of these feathers a little bit more slightly follow these lines here we're not gonna blend this out on the yellow because it's just gonna make it like a dirty brown it's not going to look good. We're just defining outlines here. Let's do like little flicks where you see those lines. I'm trying to see if we should add some more. Do you want to get some more yellow in here? Without smudging it too much. Maybe a little bit of this lighter orange. You gotta be careful if you don't want to smudge the black and brown you already put in. A little white. I'm gonna take a break and then we're gonna come in and do some more work on the yellow feathers. It's hard to stop. Keep adding color. any more color. Just keep messing with it until it looks right to you. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's not an exact match to the picture, but it looks good. Pretty interesting, huh? A lot of different ways to do the feathers. So if you want to go from this to this and learn how to do feathers with us, Head on over to my Patreon page and select the I Want to Learn group. The link is in the description box below. 
Thank you for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed yourself and learned something new. We will have quite a few of these coming up in the future, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you have ready access to all my upcoming videos. And until then, hang in there and have some fun.